How you doing everybody? Tim here from the Tactical Defender working on some video. You like my office? This is my office. I call it a mobile office, but the desk itself is, is not so uh, mobile. But anyway, working on some videos over here. Just did a video on these tree straps here. Really nice, very strong, uh, inexpensive. I don't know when you'll see that video. But anyway, my last video... I had set up here one of my subscribers very nicely said hey I have an idea in so many words because you know I like these types of daisy chain tree straps here's some new camo ones from uh, wise owl outfitters been working with playing with if you will actually I'm napping but uh, yeah they're long and I like that. I'd rather have more length and not need it than need it and not have it. So I usually loop them up or tie them up. I, if I'm here, I'll put the extra over that. But one of my subscribers said, hey, I have an idea. Why don't you just loop it around the tree, double it up around the tree? Now, I got to tell you, I'm not the smartest guy. I never claim to be. I'm just funny. At least in my own head. So I thought, you know, what a great idea. Because, look, you know, the fact is that's why I use these types of straps. And those over there do the same thing. I want to protect the trees, right? I hate when I see people use something like paracord. I mean, I would never trust paracord. And plus, you can damage the tree. That's why I like these straps here. And yes, the bucket is still here. <laughs> if you watched my one of my last videos. But anyway, uh, so he said, look, you know, the nutrients that travel up and down the tree are in the first few inches behind the bark. Did not know that. Very good information. I don't know why, but I thought it was the core of the tree. But I'm told and read after that, it's just the first couple inches underneath uh, the bark within the tree so he said instead of doing what you're doing why don't you just take it double it around the tree so not only are you a little bit more secure you are dispersing the weight right in theory it sounds great you're dispersing the weight so it doesn't affect the tree which i don't think one of these would affect the tree much but two of them would definitely help uh you're definitely locking onto the tree a little bit better and you're taking up your slack so i just got as you can see a little bit and I did the same over there matter of fact over there I used the very end because that tree is thicker now obviously the distance of the trees affect that as well as the size of the tree affects that but in my situation here which I use this almost all the time for my hammock reviews I can just simply double up and not worry about the excess slack and it's just safer for the tree, right? So I thought that was a really great tip. I wanted to bring that to you. I will start doing that so that way I don't have slack and I can protect the trees that much more. And God, that bucket over there is ugly, huh? I'm going to have to take it with me. I didn't want to, but I'm going to have to. Anyway, so that's it, everybody. Be well, stay safe. If you hammock, you may already know this. I did not think of that. Someone else did. Great idea. Be well, everybody. Stay safe. We will talk soon. Bye.